Cooking with Crystal. Cooking with Crystal. Cooking with Crystal. Welcome, welcome back to Cooking with Crystal. I am Crystal Holiday, and today we are going to be making something delicious. Have you ever been to Chipotle and you got one of their bowls and it was piping hot? And it was so delicious. Well, today, we're going to be making a shrimp bowl today. We're going to have our fresh guacamole that we don't have to pay extra for. And here are our ingredients. We have carrots, lime, black beans, kidney beans. We have orange, broccoli, shrimp, avocados, garlic onions, red, green, yellow, and orange peppers. And for our seasonings, we have Mrs. Dash garlic herb, cilantro, obey, orange pepper, some seafood seasoning, pepper, paprika, seasoned salt, basil, and rice. And these are our beautiful ingredients. We're going to start off with a teaspoon of salt in boiling water, a cup of rice. Once the rice comes back up to a boil, turn it to simmer, put a lid on, and let the water evaporate fully, and it'll be done. We're going to mix our seafood seasoning. No. Seasonings like this is very convenient. Everything's mixed but the seafood seasoning in the mixture. We're going to take a little bit of Obey and a little bit of our other seasoning and mix it right into the shrimp and set that aside. In our pan, we're going to put our beautiful red, yellow, green, and orange peppers. Now, the fun fact is the red peppers have 11 times beta carotene and 2 times more vitamin C than all the other peppers. We're going to hit it with a little bit of seasoning. They also are the sweetest and the last to be picked. And that's the reason why they're so nutritious, why they are the best, the red peppers. We're going to, we're going to separate our onion ringlets. I'm just going to give it a stir. And we're going to put our lid back on. And we're just going to give this a stir. This smells so good. When you put this in your bowl, it elevates the flavors. You're going to put a little garlic in here. Garlic is a must in all of the meals. If you like garlic, garlic is your friend. But if you don't like garlic, just leave it out. It's nice and soft now, but not mushy. We're gonna put a little pad of butter in just to be a little naughty. No, seriously, it will give a lot of flavor. Just that little pad of butter.
And we're going to get our grilled pan ready for our shrimp. Putting a little bit of avocado oil on the pan. This pan is big enough to hold all of the shrimp in this bowl. The shrimp have had time to really absorb all of the seasoning. So they will be nice and seasoned. It really pays to have a big grill pan so you can put as much on as possible. And then that way, you only have that one um, time to cook all of the ingredients. And we're going to put our broccoli in. Along with our carrots. Because this is another texture that you can put in the bowl. We're not going to make the broccoli fully soft because you do want some firmness to your broccoli as well as the carrots. You don't want the carrots to be mushy. And getting a little bit of crunch on your shrimp will add another element to the texture because when you eat your bowl you want all types of flavors and textures in your mouth trust me this bowl is so comforting but don't go to sleep afterwards We're going to put a little teeny bit of butter in here. And we're going to put our white corn right in. I'm just going to cook this a little while longer. Because again, you don't want your broccoli to be soft. And of course, we're going to hit it with some garlic. Because garlic makes everything yummy. And we're going to put the lid on just for a little while. Mm-mm-mm, it smells so good in here. You would have thought you came right on into a restaurant. Restaurant Crystals. Well, that sounds good. It has a good ring to it. Crystals. Yes, let's eat at Crystals tonight. Now, with the black beans and the kidney beans, although I'm not mixing them together, I just put a pad of butter in with this black garlic and Himalaya salt. That is all you need to season both beans. I'm only going to show you me seasoning the black beans but I did the kidney beans exactly how I did the black beans I just sauteed them for about five minutes or until it uh, had all of the flavor in it well actually you know always taste your food to see if it's seasoned right now we just gonna get the flesh out of all of our avocados and avocado turning into guacamole is very easy to make we're just going to use a lime not a whole lime a half a lime I used a half a lime and we're going to put our cilantro our fresh cilantro in these little 
little cup cups that you can buy with fresh basil you can buy fresh cilantro and a little bit more of this garlic and Himalaya salt black garlic and Himalaya salt right in and what I do is I just chop and chop and chop you could take a food processor but today I just chopped and chopped and chopped and smashed with my spoon and there you have it that's how easy it is to make guacamole and here is the finished product our guacamole our shrimp our peppers our corn broccoli and carrots our rice our black beans our kidney beans And what I like doing, oh good Lord, thank you for the food that I'm about to receive in Jesus' name. What I like to do is I like to squeeze the lime right on, right on all my bowl. And I like squeezing orange on my bowl. And the orange just gives it such a beautiful, I love. Yes. And I cannot wait to have a party in my mouth. The shrimp is delicious. Oh my goodness, it's just like pow, 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 pow in my mouth. Mm. The guacamole is so velvety smooth. And the, the black beans, the kidney bean. Mm. And what I like is the vegetables in here. Chipotle don't have nothing on this. Nothing. And definitely try this recipe, like, and share this video, please. And subscribe to the channel. This right here. If you like seeing simple dishes that taste delicious, please subscribe to this channel. Mm. Now I tell you, delicious. I just love it. I love bowls. They are so good. And they're good for you, too. Y'all. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. I am Crystal Halliday. And this is Cooking with Crystal. And as always, as always... Of course, like, share this video, and subscribe. And as always, be blessed.